Hello. The game is... Horizon XI, a Final Fantasy XI classic server. An MMO with 4,000 to 5,000 people playing actively every day. Like online at the same time. There's, there's like 50,000 people playing it. It's a very popular server. It has a dedicated team of volunteer devs that are creating this thing. Volunteer uh, artists, musicians all creating this endeavor. And it's free for you to use if you choose. Uh, if you ever wanted to play Final Fantasy XI like it was back in the day, I, I can't recommend it enough. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to try it. And to help you do it, I'm creating a playlist of videos that'll kind of help you through the process. Because getting started in Final Fantasy Classic isn't an easy thing. So check my playlist, subscribe, hit notify so you get the new ones when they come out. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching it, and let's get into it. All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about add-ons. Uh, so I'm sitting here looking for a group for a long time. I can't find a group for some reason. It's Friday night right now, and it's like prime time, so I'm kind of like disappointed. But I figured, let me make a video real quick and try to make it a quick one, too, without too much rambling. Just uh, while I'm looking for a group, let's see if I can get it done before I get an invite. So add-ons. They have the add-ons in the launcher. I've covered that in two videos already. Check my Horizons XI playlist if you want to see that. Basically, just go into your, go into the launcher, go into the add-ons section, click the add-ons that you want it to load. They're all supported to load automatically into your config files. Everything you don't got to worry about it. How do you get add-ons that aren't there? How do you know? So, one way of looking for add-ons is to go to the website, the Horizons website. They have an add-ons list of approved add-ons and unapproved add-ons. Don't use unapproved ones. They can get you banned. The approved ones are fine. If there's something you like that you don't, that's not on the list, that you want to know if it's viable or not, just do a support ticket and ask them, and they'll let you know. How do you how do you find an add-on? How do you get an add-on? So let me kind of go through that a little bit with you here. So let me go up here. So they just released. That's not it. That's my map. They just released a UI add-on that I already had running. So this replaced a custom add-on or. A, uh, yeah, I guess you could call it custom add-on. This just replaced it. It's now semi-supported. It's not in the launcher. You have, still have to install it yourself. But the reason why I want to start here is, A, it's a good add-on, and it's kind of officially supported now. And B, it kind of goes through how you install it anyway. So it kind of helps me out. But just real quick about this uh, add-on, it just gives you a different, a new UI. So it gives you a target bar, a target, a target, and uh, enemy list. So like when you get aggro or anonymity I guess they call it this game um, it'll show you which is nice party frames which I think are a little big and clunky but much better than these little tiny ones inventory thing money thing so this is a nice add-on for UI I like it I use it but the reason why I want to kind of start here is um, it tells you how to do it right so you go to github and how you download and download on github is weird if you've ever been to github before and github is let me get the thing github.com right and then the rest of it so how you download there's no download button that throws a lot of people off you go to this green one that says code and hit download.zip because you're basically you're supposed to be downloading code for programs and stuff like that um so you just hit download zip it'll download this this is what you're downloading when you hit download zip right so and then this folder is what you want to put in your add-on so we'll go down to that let me just explain it to you real quick. So copy the add-on folder, in this case is HXUI, the whole folder into your Horizons game add-on. Now for me, I have mine in, I have mine in C drive. So I installed my Horizons directly in my C drive. So mine is C Horizons game add-ons. That's where you're gonna to wanna to pop it. You throw it in there in its own subfolder and then you go to Horizons Game Scripts. There's one file in that scripts folder called default.ini. You open that up, and all the way down at the bottom, you can put custom settings. So then you just put the command slash add-on, space load, space name of the folder, name of the add-on. You can run this command in game. All this all this does is run a command after the game loads for you. So I have my FPS 1 that gives me 60 frames per second. I have that all set up to run every time so I don't have to type it in manually every time. I have HXUI and the only other add-on, custom add-on I have right now is points. So I have add-on load points. 
If I didn't have these, I would have to type that every time I load the game. Because these are just commands you can run in the game. Um, now this instruction over here tells you to add weight, but they already have weight up here. So, basically, don't put anything anywhere else. These are comment. These pounds are like to, to signify a comment, so it ignores everything on this line after a pound sign. Just don't put anything in this file except for down here, and only put commands, and you'll be all right. You don't have to worry about it. So then you save that. Boom, that's it. That This add-on will work at that point. When you launch the game, it knows to run that command. It runs the command. It loads the add-on. So that's basically the, the, the summary of it. It's, it's just that quick. It's just that simple. It's not that hard at all. What gets hard is when you start downloading these add-ons and then they start throwing errors and you got to try to troubleshoot them and stuff like that. So one thing that throws a lot of people off is... Well, let's let's back up a little bit. How do you even get these? Like, you want points? How do you know to come here? You gotta search. I searched all over for the valid points. I, you know, the valid points file. I, I used one. It didn't work. It was a different version. It was throwing errors. Yeah, I tried another person gave me a link. I tried it. It was, it was like an older version. It was giving me errors. This one worked for me. Why did this one work for me? When somebody came here, I'll show you the URL just so you can have it. GitHub Shinzaku, I guess, slash points. You could probably just Google points, uh, FXI, and Shinzaku will probably take you here. But one thing I found that I learned that was kind of like an aha moment for me is, because uh, I'm not familiar with Ashita, is it's Ashita version 4, basically, is what you want to look for. Now, some of them, right, have, uh, let's go here. Like, some of them be like Ashita version 3, version 3. Some of them will be like, It'll have different things. I think there's actually four and four, four one like um, version four point one. I think both of those actually work. So you want to look for four or four point one when you're looking for these add-ons. Typically they're on GitHub. So I'm using skill change because I I love I would love to have this to work. I can't get this add-on to work for me. I just can't. Several people give me several links. I've searched all over for it. I can't get this thing to run. I've tried to fix it. I can't get the run. So if you know valid uh, skill chains add-on for Ashita version 4 that Horizons runs on, put on a comment. I would drop it in the comments. I'd love to know. I'd appreciate it. But the whole point is when you're searching these, when you're looking for add-ons, you're looking through Discord is a good resource. Your link shell Discord. Sometimes they put like they'll put like a list of here's what I found that works. But right now, as far as I far as I know, there's no like website or list going, here's a valid add-on for this Horizon server. If there is one and you know a good list or, uh, you know, consolidate a list of active working add-ons, drop it in the comments. I'll pin that sucker uh, for everybody to look at. But I don't know of any list. I have to constantly dig. I have to ask people online. Um, you know, I'll ask people I see streaming or whatever like I'll see a YouTube video and somebody has something strange uh, and I'll say how, how do you do that or what what add-on is that and then I gotta go look for it do you have a link and it's just a it's a big pain in the butt there's no consolidated source that I know of but that's basically it so when you are searching for an add-on you want look for version 4 uh, do the install process see if it works and uh, that's 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 basically it it's just that simple but it can be time consuming and frustrating too. So hopefully somebody puts together a list, a uh, consolidated list soon. I think that's about all I have to show you as far as that. And let me just go over this real quick one more time. Horizons game add-ons, it'll be slash, the subfolder will be what you drop that in there. So whatever the add-on is, so it'll be add, add-on name, right? Whatever the add-on name, and then in the default INI, Rises Game Scripts default INI, go all the way down to the bottom. You type load at or add-on load, and then whatever the add-on name is, right? And that's going to load that add-on in that folder for you. Pretty much that simple. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Maybe it gives you a better understanding of how to. Um, how to get these custom add-ons yourself and kind of install them because they don't have everything in the launcher. I wish they did. I wish they had all everything that works in the launcher and you could just pick and choose what you wanted. That'd be really nice. 
but that's a lot of work for them so it's amazing that they have what they have right now in the launcher hope you like the video there should be more in the playlist as i said in the beginning um people who subscribe to my channel i appreciate you thank you very much give the video upvote helps me out lets people know the the video is worth watching i appreciate it i appreciate you doing that and I'll see everybody in the next video. There's a lot of good games coming out right now, by the way. It's crazy how many great games. I'm so tempted to like play all these awesome games coming out. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.